Hi there. I'm going to do a little review on the down and out swivel mount by dynamicmounting.com. And as you can see in this room, we don't have a lot of places to put the TV. So what the down and out mount allows us to do is to store the TV in a location above the mantle where it looks nice. And then when we want to watch TV, we simply pull it down. And now we can view the TV in an angle, uh, more of a more comfortable viewing angle. So what I'm going to do now is to take you around the back so you can see a side view of the mount and, and how that works. So here's a side view. You can see that uh, this is the mount in the back and uh, it goes up and fits nicely into place. And one thing that we did differently on, on this installation is that uh, we recessed the TV into the wall. And the reason that we did this is we wanted to uh, not have it stick out so far. And it also gives us the option that if we want to put molding or brick or some other treatment around the edge, we can do that and give it a, a, a lot more of a custom look. Another feature I want to point out about this particular mount is called the down and out swivel mount. It allows you to turn the mount, uh, the TV, from side to side. So if we had someone on the left hand side of the room, we simply swivel the TV. And now it's a more comfortable viewing angle for someone on the left hand side of the room. Now another feature that I want to point out uh, of this particular installation, by recessing the TV, it not only fits nicer into the wall, but we also have some space behind the wall for some other things. Um, we also had you know, trouble in this room finding a place to put components. And some of the ca cabinets for the big receivers and things like that stick out pretty far. So we actually created some space behind the wall, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. And it's not finished yet, uh, but you can see it really is still in the construction phase. And what we've done here is to construct framing around the chimney pipe. Uh, and as you can see in the back, there's a DVD player. And we'll you know, probably put it up on a rack or something. We may want to add receiver, maybe a subwoofer, a modem router, and other components. Um, and I also want to point out that you'll, uh, before doing something like this, you definitely want to hire a contractor to do the proper code research and get all the right permits and everything. So anyway, this has been a review of the Down and Out Swivel Mount by DynamicMount.com.